If you've got some soil test results from your farm, one of the things we want you to take a look at is what is your percent sodium in the soil? What are your soluble salt levels? If you start seeing higher levels of those, like for example, we often talk about over 1% sodium, uh, you've got a real challenge on your farm because sodium, salts, any of these things, they can be very harmful for your ground, very harmful for your crops. So you're going to want to reduce your sodium and your salt levels, but how do you do that? It's a lot easier said than done in some cases, so we want to talk today kind of through what the scenarios are, what are the things you can do to reduce those high salt levels. So after you measure your soils to see what's out there, the next most important step is to figure out, okay, I have a salt issue, why do I have that issue? What's going on? One of the most challenging things to solve is if it's an irrigated field and it's water quality that's leading to a salt problem. It's often said, whatever your water is, is what your soil will become. So if you're putting high salt or high sodium water out into a field, well, eventually your soil is gonna start building up those levels. And once we get high levels of especially sodium, it's really tough. That soil becomes so tight that it's tough to get things to move down Okay, yeah, we'll solve that problem, but let's first talk about this irrigation thing. You have two choices. Number one, dig a new well and find better water, or two, treat that water. So when we talk about, Darren mentions this sodium thing, I don't get nearly as worried about it as Darren does. Here's the way I would look at this. If you've got a sodium or salt problem, your number one issue is drainage. You've got to fix your drainage. Now let's say that you, you already have some tile in your field. What are your tile spacings? If you've got very heavy ground and you have a lot of salt you're trying to get rid of, maybe you need 20 or 30 foot spacings instead of 50 or 100 foot spacings. So that's the very first thing. Then beyond that, you've got to take a look at how am I contributing to my salt problem every year. If you're putting manure on that has lots of salt, um, you're going to have to stop for a while. If, you're, if you have irrigation water, like I said, you've got to fix that problem. So those are the first two things that I'm always looking at. The other thing is if you do have a salt area in your field, let's, let's just say there's a spot in your field that just turns white and virtually nothing will grow there. Uh, in, in our geography, the, the real gauge of how bad it is is if kochia will still grow. If kochia will grow in there, okay, there's still hope for us. It's not too bad yet. But when kochia won't even grow, all right, we know we really got a problem. So how do we fix those issues? Well, the big thing is we have to get something growing in those, those areas. And many times we'll see farmers applying uh, some sort of compost or just taking a bale of straw and putting it out there and tilling it into that ground to try to stir things up and, and get some level of organic matter, try to get something out there to help improve microbial life in that soil because with high salt levels, it's very difficult for anything to live in that soil. All right, Darren mentioned you want to get something growing. Barley is a pretty good crop. There are a number of others that can handle higher salt levels, so that's certainly something to take a look at as well. Yeah, and it may not be your primary crop. It may be a cover crop. It may just be anything you can get growing in those areas. It's better than letting it go to weeds or having nothing out there, but you have to get it started, and it may take a few years before you're able to farm right through those areas with your regular crops. We get a lot of questions about gypsum. A lot of people will say, oh, gypsum will solve my problem. Well, it might, but it might not. Here's what I'm getting at. If you have your drainage fixed first, okay, then we want to take a look at the soil test. And if the soil test shows, oh, we have lots of calcium and we already have lots of sulfur in the soil, adding more gypsum, which is just calcium and sulfur, isn't going to help a whole lot. But if you're low on sulfur, you're low on calcium, then absolutely gypsum can be part of the solution to this whole problem. Well, this calcium situation is a big deal because calcium is a very large molecule. And if we're low in calcium in a soil, adding more calcium puts these large molecules out there. And then there's more pore space in between your soil particles. If there's more pore space, that allows more air and it also allows more water to move down through the soil. And so the getting the calcium out there will give us that shot at flushing some of those other negative problems out uh, like sodium or other salts. But the other big reason why here is because if you have gypsum, which is calcium sulfate, you've increased the calcium level and then the sulfate is there to bind with the sodium. So if you had sodium sulfate or really any type of salt that you can create in the soil, it's leachable. So the good news here is when you get rain, if you have more porous soil and you have good drainage with tile, you can flush those salts out over time. So 
our main message for you today is don't give up. Don't say, oh, there's nothing I can do about these high salt levels or these high sodium levels. I've got a sodic soil, I can't fix it. Yes, you absolutely can. It might take a little bit of time. I mean, it might be 10 or 20 years before you get it completely straightened out, but you gotta get started today by improving that drainage, looking at why you've caused the problem, and let's look at other things you can add to the soil like possibly gypsum. Well, if you want to raise better crops, you've got to start working on some of these soil issues right away. And the other thing you have to keep your focus on is weed control. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <laughs>